Hey everybody, Thrift Store Hacker back again, and I'm down looking at my rigs right now. Raptorium has made a absolutely insane run in price in the last couple of days. So we've had a lot of new miners coming in, and everybody in the core community has just been trying to get everybody set up and showing them how to set up the miner and stuff. So since I need to upgrade this machine down here to the new miner, which I believe is 1.4, I am going to walk you guys through how to do this end to end and get you set up on Supernova Mining Pool. All right, now let's start off. You're going to go to raptorium.com and you're going to download the miner from here. Let's see if I can take care of some of that glare. There we go. Oh, yeah. You go up to downloads here, you're going to see CPU miner. Click on that, it's going to take you to the GitHub. It looks like 1.2.4 is the newest one. And since we're running Windows, we're going to grab the uh, x86-64 Windows 7-zip file. If you don't have 7-zip, you're going to have to download it. As you can see, it's already tagged it as a dangerous file. That's because it's got a coin miner in it. So we're just going to keep that dangerous file anyway. All right, and then we can hit show in folder. And it'll pop up. Do I, I? Yes, I have 7-zip installed, so I can just open the archive. We'll close that down. Get some of the stuff out of the way here. And then I'm just going to take this folder here, and I'm going to drag it from the archive onto my desktop. There we go. And then inside this folder, you're going to have a config file. And you can just open this with uh, Notepad. You can just go down to Open With and tell it to use Notepad. Hit OK. And then you're going to have all these startup commands here. Now, before we go any further with this, we need to go to Supernova and set up an account there. So I've already done that. That's pretty easy. Just give them an email and a password. I've already set up my account as Thrift Store Hacker. And now what we need to do is set up a worker for this account. So you go to My Account, My Workers, and I'll put you in the Worker menu. And then you go up here to Worker Name. I don't know how well you guys can see that. You go up to Worker Name. And we'll just name this one Thrift Store Hacker YouTube and make the password X because it's a good universal password. Hit Add New Worker and now we have that worker loaded up. Let's see if I can find it here. I have a lot of workers and it's all the way at the bottom here. See where it says TSH YouTube? All right. Now that we have that set up, we can start mining to this pool. And the cool thing with Supernova is if you have an account, you don't have to go in and make, or you don't have to download the wallet because they'll store the coins on the pool. It's not exactly secure, but I do trust Supernova because I've been mining that with them for years. So I don't expect them to run off with the bag. Now that we got that set up, we have a username and a worker name, which my username is just Thrift Store Hacker, and then my worker name is at TSH YouTube for my mining worker. So what we'll do is we'll go over to the main PC again. And I'll zoom in a little bit. Now when you open this file, it looks really uh, confusing. But really, the only thing that you're going to be dealing with on this whole file is changing that, changing that, and changing that. Now, it says you can set up a backup or failover pool, which uh, that's uh, pretty easy to do. Uh, I'm just going to set this all up quick and dirty just to get it done. As you can see, I already have my connection information from Supernova. So I can just copy that. And we'll go up into this field here, if I don't butterfinger my mouse. 
and we're just going to copy that right in there. So the uh, URL, everything right there. I'm not going to set up a backup, so I'm just going to put this down here as the backup as well. And then you have the username, which we've already worked on. So we know that this, the user is thrift store hacker. The worker is TSH YouTube. And the password below it there is X. And that's all you need to change. If you want to set up your backup pool, put another one in there and name your user and worker the same on that pool. If you're mining, uh, mining directly to wallet, instead of using the thrift store hacker, like if you're on flock pool, you would name the user your wallet address, and then your worker, you could still keep your worker whatever you want, and it'll mine directly into your wallet. I like using Supernova, as I said, because they've been around the block. They've seen a thing or two. But anyway, with this all set up, and especially set up on Supernova so I don't have to get the wallet, we're ready to go. So I'll just close this, make sure we save the configuration in that file, and then we are just about off to the races here. Now, to launch the miner for a first time run, there's a bit of a process here. So let me zoom out a little bit. There we go. The first thing we're going to need to do is, since we have this on the desktop, we need to figure out where the folder is. Now this is a neat little trick that I do for this because I know I'm going to have to copy and paste this in and I don't want to type it in. So what I'll do is I'll go up here and I'll select everything up to there except for the C colon. And it'll come in later. We'll copy that. And now we're going to go down to Command Prompt. You can easily find Command Prompt by going down to the search bar on Windows and just punching in Command Prompt. Command works just fine. And then you're going to see Run as Administrator you're going to need to run as administrator. So we'll just click on that. It's going to ask you if it's okay. And then it's going to drop you to the command prompt in window here. Let's see if I can get this beast to focus. All right. And that address that I copied over, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in CD backslash and paste that. And that's the folder where the miner is. All right, we're in that folder. Since we already have the config file done, we should be able to just go CPU miner, if I can type today. And boom, detecting CPU. Could not load tune config file. All right, you see this here where it's cannot set MSR? This is kind of a known problem. What we need to do is stop. So I'm just gonna hit Control C or you can just close the window. I'm going to stop the miner right there, and I have to reboot the machine. I don't know why it does this, but it's just kind of a weird first-time run thing. Um, this will go away. As we can see, huge pages is already set up. So we'll close this really quick, and we're going to reboot the machine. Which means i got to close all these wonderful windows that I have open. We're going to go down here. Oh, man, there's an update. Hopefully we can get around that. I don't want to update right now. I'm trying to do a video, damn it. I don't even want to restart. I'm not going to cut this. We're just going to go all the way through. And the focus gets horrible. Oh, look at that. All right, we're back to the desktop. So we'll just repeat that process again. Where you open this up and grab this right here. Copy that. We'll go over to the command prompt. Run it as administrator. Let's see if 
backslash paste. Go to the folder that we're supposed to be in. CPU miner. As you can see, MSR set up successfully. So if you're trying to mine on like a VPS or something, uh, you will still have to reboot it, but with Windows Server, it will give you that option to reboot it. And now we're going into tuning. We'll zoom in here to show you. Now this is going to tune for probably about two hours. Uh, it takes a long time for this to tune because it's basically going through your computer's CPU and finding the most efficiently efficient way to mine each algorithm. As you can see right here, it's got 152.4 minutes remaining. As soon as it's done tuning, it should automatically drop over and start mining on the pool. And instead of this rotation testing and all this stuff, you'll start seeing uh, more of a uh, standard miner, accepted shares, little green uh, fonts, and stuff like that. So we're going to let this run for a little bit. And then we'll come back to it after it's done tuning and go from there. All right, and we're back. The machine has tuned. As you can see, it's uh, doing shares now. I'm going to tell you to disregard the hash rate on that right now because this is going to take 24 hours to come around. This is going to be your average hash rate. This is the number you want to look at. But since there's so many different algorithms built into this and it hashes at different speeds, you're going to need about 24 hours before you get the actual true hash rate of your computer on the pool. Now, I have another miner set up that if I can get this to work, here we go. And this miner's been running on... my mining rig for some time now. And we can scroll up a bit here. We can see the setting is 467 hashes a second. And that's over the last five days. So I'd say that's a fairly good average hash rate because it, you know, it calculates it over time. And that's not bad. This is an old third gen i7-3770. Uh, mined a lot of coins with it about two months ago. Uh, it's not so much now. We had about 40 coins a day total out of it. But anyway, it's just that easy to set up the miner. Once your miner is set up and tuned, we'll go back over to this computer for that. To start your miner, We'll just shut this off really quick. To start your miner, and so you just loaded up the desktop here. You go over to your miner folder. This is what I like to do. I like to grab this. I showed you this before. And then we'll go over to command prompt. Run that as administrative. So yes. And you'll see up here, administrator command prompt. CD backslash, and then we'll paste that in. Puts us to the folder, run CPU miner. And boom, we're up and running. Now on rare occasions, the MSR setup might not work and either you need to just stop the miner and restart it, or you might just need to uh, reboot the computer. But anyway, that's what it's supposed to look like. That's the full run, the full setup. If you have any questions, I highly recommend going to Raptorium's Discord channel. They have a mining chat room, and they will help you out. Until next time, build stuff, have fun, and happy mining.